so once you have opened your hardware manager and we have created our bit file and our bin file now it is time to program the hardware device so th this again is step three of how to create a successful module step one would be write the module synthesize it step two would be uh, simulate it you've seen the simulation that we did and then step three would be finally to program your device and test it on the hardware. So Vivado has this hardware manager that makes it easy to program your device. All you have to do is open the target. Uh, before we open the target you want to make sure you plug in your basis board uh, via USB to your computer and uh, make sure you turn it on. Uh, just a quick show show you my basis board here. Uh, it's being programmed by the USB up top, but it's being powered by the 5 volt regulator uh, that goes to this 2 pin input here. Uh, in order to do that, you do have to switch this little jumper, or blue jumper, to the external position. So there's three pins. Put the jumper on the two pins that say EXT so that way you can power it through the external port and not through the USB. Alright so mine's turned on you see the little power LED on at the very top uh, it's plugged into my computer so now I can open target open new target you open up this wizard hit next uh, local server hit next and it'll search for the device and there you go, it found it Fre the clock frequency though it does have to be changed you want to select 30 megahertz and then select your hardware here and hit next and then it gives a summary so hit finish and then it connects to your device so let's scroll down this for just a second. So as I mentioned earlier there's two ways to program the uh, basis 3 board here and one way is to program the FPGA directly and the other way is to program the memory called the SPI uh, so that way the program that you load onto the board stays on the memory every time you turn it off and on and back off. So, if you wanted to program the FPGA directly, you would just highlight, this is the FPGA, the X, uh, C7, uh, the Arctic 7 chip. So, if you wanted to program the chip directly, you would just right click on this and select program device. And then you would just uh, open this and select the bit file that we just created. So here is already loaded, the bit file. But we don't want to do that. We want to add a memory device. So we're going to right click on it and we're going to add configuration memory device. And we're going to search expansion. And then we're going to select this S25FL032P and hit OK. And hit yes, OK. So now we can program the memory uh, and to program the memory that's why we created the bin file uh, here's already selected but uh, if you it's not selected you can hit all those three little dots and it'll open the browser so you can select your bin file we'll click on it um, notice that it says erase it has checked erase program and verify so to do those three steps and then you can just hit OK and that will start programming the bin file onto the SPI memory of the board so that um, we can run the program as many times as you want to and not have to worry about turning it off and on or having it connected to your computer the whole time. So first as you saw it, it erased and then it programmed. So any program that would have been on there uh, would have gotten erased first. 
and then it loads the new program so now it's done hit OK and now we can look at the basis board and um, should be able to turn it off and you have to switch the jumper to SPI mode so notice that the jumper is on the middle two pins here so I'll take it off and put it on the top two pins so it's on SPI mode and I'll turn it back on it will load the program we just loaded and now the switches turn on the LEDs as it's supposed to um, so just to show you that we are not connected to the computer I can unplug the USB and show you that the program has been loaded onto the board and that we're not connected via USB now we are just being powered by the 5 volt regulator over here and our program is still on and again we can turn it off turn it back on the program will always be on there um, since we programmed it to the SPI memory on the board and we do have it set to the SPI mode right up here okay well uh, that concludes this part of the video uh, in the future videos I will show you how to do other things with the basis 3 board and we will make more sophisticated modules so I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next videos